In this video, we will look at um, how to configure the CI CD pipelines uh, to connect to your Azure Artifact field uh, and various options available. So, what we have seen in the previous video was uh, how to connect to the Azure Artifact from Visual Studio, uh, wherein we configure the field uh, URL and the source. And other option, what you have seen is uh, how to configure using uh, a NuGet.config file. Uh, these videos, you know, uh, the guide on these videos, you can found, you can find it in the links to which you can find it in the description. So, uh, what we will do uh, is uh, understand how to configure the pipeline and test it. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Chaitanya and you can call me Chai. I have more than a decade and a half of experience with software development as a developer, tech lead, architect, and various other roles around designing and delivering software products. So let's let's look into the, step, the details on how to configure a CI pipeline to connect to your Azure Artifact field. So I have a sample project and uh, a pipeline built for a .NET based code. Uh, a typical uh, .NET project will have uh, the steps to restore the packages and do a build. Uh, this is very specific to, uh, you know, it also does additionally the sonar scan and everything. Uh, but you know, the key part, uh, two, two key steps is to restore the packages and then build. Now, if you look into the restore command, uh, here you could specify where, where where to download the packages from. Now, as we have, if your source code is configured to use NuGet config, you can select fields in my NuGet config and then select the path to where you have your uh, NuGet package, uh, NuGet.config file. And if you're not, if you do not have the NuGet.config, then you can say you can specify fields I select and then select the feed that you want to use for this particular project, uh, right? So this is uh, uh, here again, academy feed. So which means that you are saying when you're restoring the packages, go ahead and use the feed which is here. And since the academy feed is uh, configured to have NuGet as an upstream, I can uncheck this and it would still work fine to restore the common packages. <coughs> So similarly, you can, if you select NuGet, uh, which means that you know you can go ahead and select your NuGet config file, and additionally provide the credentials or the details of authenticating yourself to the to the feed. So here you can specify you know the the feed URL and generate a paid path token of the particular user, and then uh, use and you could basically use the path token to authenticate. Uh, every time the restore is happening. So this is the simplest way to restore uh, packages from uh, Azure Artifact feed, either from NuGet.config file or directly specifying the, uh, the the details of the feed. So with this, you will be able to uh, restore and, uh, and build the code in your CI pipelines uh, if you are using the Azure Artifact feed.